everyone, I'm Maria Stark. I'm the STEM, STEM specialist here at the Library Corporation and I have a special unboxing video that I'm going to be doing for you today. Um, before I get started, quick shout out to Jameson Reynolds who's behind the camera today um, and stay tuned at the end because we're going to have a special announcement for a giveaway. Hello everybody. That is Jameson. That is Jameson. So this is a Turing Tumble. We are super duper excited about it um, because we have several in our warehouse. We've already been shipping out a ton last week, so you may have already received yours. And this is going to be the opportunity to, for you to see what it looks like unboxed and also how to set it up. So by the end, you should be able to create a Turing Tumble. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I went ahead before this to cut a little part in the cellophane so you didn't have to watch me struggle for a while to get it open. Uh, but other than that, it has not been touched. So as I rip the cellophane off, just like Christmas, just like my birthday, it's exactly what I wanted, a turn couple. Fresh out of the wrapper. So this is how it comes. The top part just slides off like that. And we have a nice protective layer right here. And below that, we have our board. Now, the difference between this board and the one that's set up is that we don't have our levers in place, we don't have our pulleys. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. So in the meantime, I'm gonna set this off to the side, throw my cellophane on the floor like an animal. And this is the next piece you're gonna see. And this holds together um, both the parts that go on the, the back, and I'll show you how to do those, as well as the stamp. These just pop out. There's nice little finger holes on either side. And these just slot together pretty easily, just like that. Now, if this doesn't work to hold your board, all you need to do is flip it around and reverse it. So I'm gonna test that right here. It does fit. Now again, if it doesn't, you just take it apart, reverse one, slide it in, and it'll fit just fine. And it is good to set up your board first just to get it standing because when we do um, the pulleys in the back, it'll be better if it's vertical. So this was taped down. These are going to be our back pulleys. Set those there. And inside your box, you have several pieces in baggies just like this. Look for the bag that has the black um, lever pieces. We're gonna do those. And then you also have your other pieces that I'm not gonna show you just yet, um, but they are there as well, along with the puzzle book that comes with it. All right, so I'm gonna do the levers first. Slide these over here, give myself some space. So these long ones are gonna be your, um, your bottom levers. They're gonna go right here and here. And these little circle parts are gonna be the top pieces and those are gonna go here and here. Now to put them together, um, find your little um, connectors and there's two sides to it, um, kind of a pokey side and then one that sort of is flatter and looks like um, a house almost, especially when you see the shape like this. That's where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna slot that in here do the same with the next one. And then on the rear levers, you're gonna to flip to the back side and find that same house shape and do the same with the other two as well. All right, so now take one of your levers and there's this hole right here that's gonna slot into this and this is gonna go through that. It'll free float. Take your pulley system and on the back side you just slot the circle in on here and we'll get a better view on the other side as well and you can just leave that there for a second because um, we're going to add the top part same velocity it slots in and you just connect it right there and now you have a working lever when i hold this down this is going to drop so we're just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. This part in here, this part in on the top, and this will connect between the two. All right, now we're not quite done yet. 
Because as you see here, we have a few more things. We have a little red and a little blue marble on either side, as well as a push lever. So that is just to identify which color goes on which side. So you can do that with your, red, your marbles in each bag. So I'm gonna take one red marble and hold the back and just push it in. Don't be afraid to break it, it slots right in easily. And a blue one for the other side. And then in your parts bags, you should have a little lever like this. And for your first puzzle, it's gonna start on the blue side. So we'll go ahead and get it started and put it right there. Now in future puzzles, you do switch sides. So pay attention in the puzzle book to where that is. And that easily slides out and you can switch it over to the red as well. And that's just where you start your program. So what you can do, instead of putting that all back together every single time you get your Turing tumble, um, let me show you how this will work. You take your pieces again, this black part slides on top, the uh, stand will go in there, but then you can just place it on its side, remove this lever, and you're good to go for next time. So you don't need to do that pulley system every single time you want to play with your Turing tumble. All right, one more thing I want to point out is that in your puzzle pieces, you're going to get all of these green levers. And they are very light because they need to have a counterweight added to it. And those look just like this. And I'm not going to do all 30, however many pieces right now, but I'll just show you one and then you can do the rest at home. So just slot it in and put a little pressure and it pops right in. Now after doing maybe five or 10 of these and your thumbs get tired, do it against the side of the table. That'll work as well. And then now you are ready to start doing your turn tumble. So to show it in action, I'm just gonna run the switch right now so you can see what it'll look like. Again, this is a marble powered computer if you haven't heard about it yet. It's set up so that you can create patterns and learn logic and it's really, really cool. So this one's gonna do a blue, blue, red, red pattern back and forth with all the pieces that just came in the box. So while that's running, I'm gonna turn it over to Jameson to talk about our giveaway. Well, I will say before we switch over to me, can you show the activity book one more time? Because oh, yes. I think this thing is phenomenal. And I can tell you, my kid, I've got a 12 year old that absolutely loves this style of animation and the mm -hmm. style of art. So this is what always draws him into it almost more than the computer itself. Yeah, absolutely. So this comes with it and it starts with, um, first you do get the instructions. So if you don't wanna watch me do it, you can read through it as well. Um, and then you jump in and you learn about Aaliyah who crash lands on this planet and she has to repair a um, mechanical computer in order to get off world and in order to save herself. So then once you jump into the puzzle itself, you're given an objective and that's both text-based and visual. And then you set your board up exactly like this. And now that's that little lever I was telling you about. You should choose the number of marbles on either side and then you add those pieces. Now you take these pieces, which are additional, add them to the board in order to solve your objective. Um, but that's not all. Aaliyah is still here, she's still working through it, so sometimes she gives you hints on the side, and the story continues. Every time you get introduced to a new piece, there's a little more part of the story, and you find out what this new piece does and how to incorporate that into the rest of the puzzles. That's phenomenal. How many puzzles, again, come with the first book? There are over 60, and there are answers in the back as well as needed. Um, there are multiple solutions for some, and it does say that, and, but there's also a community online. You can go on to if you're stuck on a puzzle or if you solved something different from the answer in the back of the book, let us know, and we'd be happy to share that with everybody else as well. Awesome, awesome. Rhea, thank you very much for doing this video. One thing I do want to throw out is uh, we are pretty excited about this, actually. So what we're going to do is the marketing team here at TLC is going to do a social media giveaway. So... For the Turing Tumble that you saw Rhea put together and take out, we are actually going to be giving away that exact Turing Tumble. So yeah. what we will actually, maybe not that exact one, maybe we'll sneak in one that's still cellophane wrapped, but what we will do is we will give a Turing Tumble away after this video. So starting Monday, please keep an eye out on TLC's Facebook uh, page. And what we will be doing is a basic like and share competition like the post, like share the post, and at the end of two weeks, we will be giving away a turn tumble to someone who took part in that competition. So 
everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the contest. I hope you take part in the contest. Good luck to you, and everybody have a great weekend. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks a lot.